I'm going to try something new here. Uh, this is like tenaciously being raw or something. I don't know. It's just tenaciously being. This is what this uh, podcast has always and should have been from the get-go. Um, because I have really held myself back um, trying to do it how I'm told to or in how I see other people doing it. And it's just not me. <laughs> it's just not me. And I don't know if it's just this eclipse coming around the corner or what, but I, um, I'm going to try this for a minute. I have episodes recorded for Tenaciously Being for the next couple of weeks. Well, I forgot to post last week and this week's is already recorded and, um, we have so much going on in our life all of a sudden, um, primarily moving, um, as like when I say what we have going on and, I like put details to it out in the world. There's always this moment of like cringe um, of like how I receive that type of comment, you know? And I think there's a part of me that has pure empathy for someone who says that. And there must be a part of me that scoffs at the load of other people and has this part of me that thinks like your load can't possibly be as heavy as mine and you don't see it the same way I do and you don't and it's funny because even though I say that right now I I have so much empathy for other people's loads right now (laughs) because I know that mine is not um difficult compared to so many but the thing is is that we can really get wrapped up in and lose touch with what we're experiencing like lose lose that awareness and uh, yeah lose touch with what we are actually experiencing because we're trying so hard to make someone else feel okay too or to compare ours our experience to other people's and I know I'm not the only one that does this because I know that this is just like (laughs) this is I mean this is life um and I think that the big reason why we the big reason why we feel so helpless and so um I don't know, lost, I guess, or like confused about life and we struggle, you know, I think the reason that we do is because we've been caught up in this, like it should look different than this and it should be different than this. Anyway, just at that last little bit right there, I had like 18,000 thoughts go through my head And, um, all of those thoughts are real also. And there's a part of me that, um, mutes those thoughts when it comes to, um, actually speaking. (laughs) And, um, I think that the act of muting that part of myself for so long has hindered my own personal growth and my own acceptance to my own life. Because as much as I struggle and, you know, wander and have really low, low moments in my life, as I know other people do, I also have tons and tons and tons of really high moments in my life as well. And it's easy to get like wallowed down in the mire and to feel like there is no hope and that everything sucks and it's all out to get you. And and I'm, I'm like hitting record right now based on a tiny ass little brainstorm 
after a really difficult morning, it's 2.30 in the afternoon on a Sunday, and this is not normally a time <clears throat> that I would <laughs> sit here and record something, but I think that Tenaciously Being, my podcast that I've started, this this podcast that I have started, I think that it is meant to be even more raw than it has been. And it feels pretty raw to begin with, but I keep trying to like polish the rawness of it. And, and I hold myself back because it's not polished. Um, and I don't want to do that anymore. And that's why I say I don't know if it's this eclipse energy or not or what, but this is evolution. This is the evolution. And I've always really admired and I listen to every single one of Lori's um, weekly Untangled episodes. And because it's comforting, because she's like going through real life shit and seeing the um, beauty in it. And, you know, and her shit is totally different than mine. And that doesn't make mine any less valuable or less, um, worthy of being told a story, you know, to a certain degree, um, to be shared and to, because this is what, <laughs> this is what we're here for. And I know it sounds so like, I mean, I'm laughing at myself literally for for the words that I want to say because there's a part of me that's just like, oh my God, you sound like you sound like you're like out of this world, like you're a crazy person. <laughs> you sound crazy. <clears throat> but when I hear Lori and I hear her understanding of what's happening to civilization to the human <laughs> right now like it's not I'm not talking about politics I'm not talking about like our like it's evolution uh, it's so difficult to talk about because there's just like not words for what we are because we've never experienced this before there's so much light coming on to the planet right now. And we as human bodies are actually going through a light upgrade, a physical light upgrade that is, uh, it, it is, we are literally being catapulted into feeling, into feeling everything. And we don't, know how to do it because we have spent our entire lives learning and being programmed how and solving and doing everything we possibly can to not feel <laughs> you know like we are masters of numbing and logically validating our decisions and our thoughts and like we tell the best stories about why we do the things that we do in the world, <laughs> you know, and we have so many thoughts that we share and we have so many thoughts that we keep to ourselves and they create this whole like masterpiece of a story of your life and the way that you do things and the things that you've done and the way that you experience your life events and the way that my life and I'm a I'm a feeler but I know I know that I have been really really good at learning how to not feel and how to justify my feelings and how to run away from and hide other feelings. Like I know that this has been, I can think of specific moments in my life where I was told that I was being too emotional and I believed it. And I was being told by people that I trusted that I need to figure out my emotions and I need to figure out how to control them and how to handle them. And so I have, tr I mean, that to me is success, right? Like that's, the, if I can control my emotions, then I'm doing good. I'm doing all right in life. If I can control my emotions and I, it's a constant work toward fixing myself 
And that's where I think this self-help world has really, has really, really, really gotten us wrong and has led us astray is that it's kept us in this mindset of needing to fix ourselves and needing to make everything look like it should, you know, and like look like it always has and all this stuff. And it's just such a big fucking problem. And we are stepping out of it. And in order to step out of this stage of humanity, (laughs) where we've been so programmed, and we've been so led and steered and corralled and, and trained and in certain ways of being, we're, we're being catapulted out of it, the systems are falling, like, and we're starting to feel, oh my god, I think that if if I am as a feeler, as like a, and I'm I'm so aware of this right now, and everything feels oh, everything feels so intense, any emotion, and I'm I'm like I'm trying to focus on the happy ones and how joyful, the joyful moments are, and how much I love those. But man, the the deep deep darker, the sad, the angry, the stressed, the just emotional outbursts that seem unwarranted and flare when it's so fucking inconvenient and just don't seem to help anything, you know, they just make matters worse and they flare other people's emotions and all the other things like those moments are really, really, really intense and they're hard. And as a feeler, if they're hard for me, then I got to think that the people that are not used to feeling in their life and not used to paying attention to and not used to honoring, um, that are like really, really foreign to this idea and to the, and, and hardened to the idea that there's a little lizard in my studio right now. (laughs) I just startled him. (laughs) Find your way out, buddy. I got to imagine it's hard for everybody else. And the message that I keep receiving is that none of us know what the fuck is going on. None of us know how to navigate this. And so the creativity piece is really, really strong. And in that we need to be exercising that part of it that part of our brain in order because it's like if if something is falling and something is destructing and and self-imploding or whatever it is then we can like wallow in that and go down with it or we can kind of like step into the new you know and a lot of people out there in the world they want to know like well what's your answer what's your solution what's what's the thing that you see what's your answer if you see that so bad what's your best what's your solution it's like we don't we're not at the solution stage right now we're not we we don't have that available to us right now what we have available to us right now is witnessing the witnessing the shift and witnessing the the complete destruction of (laughs) the way we've run civilization for the last I mean for us like in our immediate present right now when I speak of like the systems falling, I think they're just a couple hundred years old, like our, our current systems. Um, but then it's, it's a pattern. It's a, it's a built and certainly the stories that we've told ourselves and the stories that we live by and the thoughts and beliefs that we hold are, are older than that and are more ancient than that. And so much of it is dissolving and it's fucking scary. Like I, I just can't even imagine feeling the things that I'm feeling without the amount of awareness that I'm have that I've that I have gained in the last few years by knowing the story of what humanity is going through right now and when I say that this is like the closest thing to spirituality that I've ever understood or to like religion it's not a religion at all this is just like one person's download of like the history of the earth and what we're experiencing now and it's totally on this like quantum level but it makes so much sense and it resonates so deeply and when I'm in that space of resonance things begin to happen things things are 
quote good <laughs> in my life when I can when I can come from a place of of resonance and of just um just being just being me and following my intuition and my soul's purpose and um it's my soul's not all that polished and it's not all that worried about being polished and I think fortunately in so many ways perhaps unfortunately I have never really spent a whole lot of time polishing myself or my life or you know the things around me I've done a lot of things and I don't uh I I don't um I've never um what am I trying to say? I'm, I'm trying to say that like, I'm pretty well practiced at not polishing. And so with this podcast, I've really kind of held myself back with the attempt to polish when it's not really in my nature to polish. <laughs> so I think I'm done trying to polish. And instead, I just kind of want to go super raw like this. And I have like, random tonal music going in the background hertz frequency music whatever um i've pulled a quick card and i just had some thoughts come to me and it's a random sunday afternoon and i think that this is actually a great time for me to just like make a quick video and check in and and be more raw and vulnerable with where i am and how things are going because there's beautiful, beautiful, amazing, abundant things happening in my life. I mean, huge, huge, awesome, epic things happening in my life. And also, like, I spent last night in a in a fitful sleep with a terrible headache in two parts of my body. And, like, a whole right side of my body feels, like, totally congested and, like, throbbing and... <laughs> And I've been emotional and it's day one of my cycle and it's like so many and the, you know, it's just, it's, it's a lot. And, and I've not been in my, you know, my quote best <laughs> today. And, um, that's okay. God, that's okay. And if, if I can do nothing more than just give myself permission see <laughs> but that's what this that's what this podcast needs to be is to give myself permission to just tenaciously be not just to tenaciously be <clears throat> to tenaciously be be and to let it all be okay the tears and the fits and the tantrums and the just the the icky feeling sometimes you know it happens and it's okay and it's not it's not me it's my body and it's not that's not me me and and I have built up so many stories about what it means to be a worthy human <laughs> and to be of worth in my life and they're just so many of them are just not true and uh and they they do so much more harm in my like my my mental well-being than they than they do benefit for my life and uh it's not easy to break those down it's not easy to see that it's not easy to um it's not easy <clears throat> to admit to, you know, telling stories about yourself that other people may be like super surprised that you tell that story to yourself and uh, are like, what, where in the world do you come, does that come from? You know, and it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I've just always thought that about myself. And uh, that's just kind of the narrative that runs in my head. And, you know, ooh was lavender I was just playing with it. it smells really good um there's there's so much to the the concept of needing to 
see something in order to make a shift from it. You see it on this huge scale with like government corruption and whatever, Holly weird and shit like that. Like the conspiracy theories, right? Like that's the grand scale. And then also within our own lives, you know, the thoughts and the beliefs and the programs that we've been running are in many ways that that dark, very um, heavy energy that we keep carrying with us. And um, quantum speaking, everything is energy and we can let it go. We can, you know, you know, the river analogy is so beautiful. We can let go. We can float. We can float. And uh, it doesn't mean you're not going to hit rapids. And it doesn't mean you're not going to have like feel <laughs> all the shit. You are. That's the thing. The chaos is the flow. Um, and the unpredictability and the, yeah, the chaotic nature of being able to just feel what comes up and allow it. That's like, that's the challenge for me. And I'd imagine that's the challenge for everybody because we've been so conditioned to like love and light things away and to like, I should be more positive about this. I should, you know, excusing our difficulties for, you know, other people's woes and knowing that they don't contend like someone else always has it harder. Yeah, I know. And that doesn't make your hard any less difficult. <laughs> your hard gets to be hard also. Um, it's okay. It's okay that we have shitty days. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. So maybe this is a new thing. Maybe this is just an occasional... <laughs> But honestly, I think it, it, it feels good to just check in raw and vulnerably like this and to, um, to be with you and to be with myself for 20, 30 minutes. Um, yeah, this feels better than all my notes and all my sound stuff and just making it somehow fancy with an intro and shit. I think this is just going to be it. <laughs> it's just weekly check-ins with me and how I'm doing because some days I'm going to feel like this and some days I'm not. I'm going to feel great. And uh, that's just going to be how it's going to be. <laughs> um, not always going to be here in the studio either because that's changing and I'm going to be on the move. So it's going to be headphones and iPhone and just kind of whatever it can be and I'm just loading it up on the same YouTube channel that I use for my art stuff because it's what I got <laughs> and I might start doing a lot more art stuff too that can be fun too but this is a shift that I think needs to be made because uh, I've spent a lot of time and energy trying to make my podcast look like something uh, that it's not and it's probably never going to be uh, until it's out of my hands. Me alone is not going to take it to a professional level. I just need to talk. That's what I need to do is just talk and be honest with myself and to share that. So thanks for being here. Thanks for being with me. <laughs> Welcome to Tenaciously Being, Tenaciously Being version 2.0. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> We're here. I'm here. Thank you for being here. Cheers. <laughs>